going right back, what, what do you remember about your grandparents? Did you know them on, on both sides? No, not on one side at all, Dad's side, I've told you that. Mm. Yeah, Nan and Granddad. We came up and I remember Granddad sitting by the window in his old wooden chair. And he had a tash. And Graham, well, I, I saw her many times after. She was all right, she was quite a nice Graham, really. Cartridge, yeah. Did you live nearby? Well, when my dad died, we moved up there. Uh huh. So, so just what, you moved from from where to where that time? From Cambridge, yeah. Yeah. Up to Northwood. Yeah. And we lived a few doors from them. I see. Yeah. So we had quite a bit to do with it. Yeah. So that probably had quite a lot to do with the move to Northwood. Oh yeah, Mum coming back to the family. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Well, I never knew that, funnily enough. You didn't? No. 13 High Street we lived and she lived in number one. It's not there anymore. 13 still were there then. And that was uh, three bedrooms and two downstairs and the scullery. Hmm. Old, old house it was. Then Mum got a, a chance to Rent 33 Hazelwood, a posh area that was. And we stayed there until she married Ginger Bill. I thought Ginger Bill dated right back to the Cambridgeshire days. And we never saw him from then, when he came back from there, until we moved up here. Never saw him at all. Never heard anything about him either. Not us kids. Uh, so, um, so he stayed behind in, um, in Cambridgeshire? Who? Like, Ginger Bill? Yeah, Ginger, we're talking about Ginger Bill, yes. No, he didn't stay there at all. He came back with Gran and the rest of them. Went to Norwood? Northwood, yeah. Northwood, yeah. No, Wildstone. He, uh, went back to Aunt Yive as a lodger. Yeah, um, you knew him in Cambridgeshire, didn't you? He came down with Grant, yeah. So he went down to visit, but he didn't actually... That's right, there. he didn't stay, no. Yeah. No, he didn't stay there. I see, I, I, I thought he was he was from around those parts. Oh, no, no. His name was Irish, actually. Well, yeah, but you know, there's Irish and Irish. Yeah, that's right. He didn't sound Irish, I, I presume he was English-born. No, I don't think so, because... Auntie Mary is, we used to call her Auntie Mary. She was nice, his sister. Mm. She was a nice person, com completely different to him. Okay, so when you moved to Northwood, um, let's see, the kids would have been sort of, sort of what ages? Well, Ron, we just walking it. well, Dad died on the 11th of November, right? Yeah, what year? 1934. And on the, um, it was between, it might have been New Year's Day that we left there and went up to Northwood. Mm -hmm. And went into 13 High Street. Yeah. And that's where I spent my teenage years mainly till the war broke out. And then I was working in the Royal Insurance and then the government got hold of us. So you, choice. You, you were sent to the factory, were you? Yeah. Mm. And Bet was working there, wasn't she? Wasn't it? Ireland. It was Ireland, oh, right, yes. So yeah, you, saw, you saw a lot of violin in those days then, obviously. Oh, well, we lived together, we had a flat together. Uh-huh. Well, two rooms. Yeah. Where was that? Wembley, near Wembley Stadium. Mm -hmm. Did you go out much, or...? With Eileen? No, I can't, we didn't go out that much. <laughs> what was it like living with Eileen? 
What was it like living with Eileen? Eileen was a very selfish person, very. Uh, we used to um, take it in turns because it cost us a, a lot in our rent, took most of our money. So with the rest of it, we used to uh, kept, put, put a bit in. Then if any of us wanted a pair of shoes, we'd uh, take it out of that money. Her <coughs> shoes always wore out before mine. <coughs> Yeah, that doesn't seem a very good system to me. Yeah, and also our food we had um, on separate shelves in the cupboard, it was. Oh. And of course then she used to have Denny come when he was on leave. Right. He'd come and visit her and some of my food went missing, you know. And, I, and she never asked, she, she just took it and I thought, God, here you go again. Now the different shelf system never works. Going, going back again to, to Cambridgeshire, um, what was the first uh, first house you can remember there? What was the first? First house, first place you remember living. Um, when we left, you were several places, we went down there, we went to Haverhill. When you le left Northwood, my left dad, I, thought, I thought you were born in Cambridgeshire, Mark. No, I wasn't, I was born in Northwood. Ah. And then, as I told the tally, is that mum mm. walked, whether she did or not, I don't know, but two of them said she did. <coughs> and we went in a terraced house, lived in a terraced house. So, how come you went to, to Cambridgeshire then, because it was... Well, we were there for a bit, weren't we? Then, we weren't there that long, and there were no carpets on the floor. And I can't remember what the beds were like, but it, well, I remember being feeling really, really cold. And we were put to bed and we weren't allowed to make a noise because old Nick would get you. There was a cupboard downstairs. We were scared step over there. And uh, we weren't there that long. Edna was born there. And then we moved to Steeple Bumpstead. That's where the bridge was over the... You'd go over the bridge well, to the house. Well, your dad, dad fell in the ditch. That's right, yeah. Dead drunk. And that's where... <laughs> yeah. Gran, Ginger Bill, Auntie Ivy, and her kids came. They're only there for a time. I can't remember how long, but mm. that they come down the pony. So the yeah, Ginger Bill was mates of your dad, and that was no, that's why he came, wasn't no? mates of my dad at all. Mum knew him before she got married. Uh -huh. That's how it goes. Yeah. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. Well, they, there must have been some connection somewhere, I don't know what it uh, is. Uh, he he lodged, lodged with Aunt Ira for years uh -huh. and years. Yeah. And uh, I say he came down and then they went back. And Ron, no, Len and Stan were born at that house. Yeah. Then we moved Do you remember along. the street, street name? Street number? Uh, it was by the arches in uh, Staple Farmstead, Upper Lane. And then the little yeah. cottages. Is it still there when you visited? And we never you went did, you that didn't that get that, no, right. went to that part. Yeah. And then we went to. Uh, I can't remember the name of the road. Another little cottage a few miles up the line, and Arlene was born. Mm. So that's when... Different village then? I don't know whether it was, a, whether it was still Steeple Bumpstead or not, I can't oh, really tell you. Villages aren't that big, are they? Uh, no, so that's true. Yeah. As far as I can remember, I can't remember much about that because I went into hospital. Yeah. I had an appendix done. And, uh, when we came out, where did we move to then? Must have been Castle Camps, or was it Shudin? Castle Camps is the name I remember from. Yeah, well, that's not what it does, it might. Oh, I do. Oh, so should I know? <laughs> <laughs> Well, she told you, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, uh, that's not old. They got one or two new houses, but other than that, it was the same. Yeah. But well, that was 15, 18 years ago, isn't it? Yeah. 
Well, yes, but I mean, these these houses have got valuable, so they don't want don't want to change them now. We've got some photographs of the houses. Mind you, know, posh now, don't they, Mike? Oh yeah, that's what happens to them. Yeah, they did in 1920. Yeah, they yeah. Were posh they did then. Yeah. How would I know? <laughs> and the church was falling down. Where I used to pull the bell. Just get sixpence for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's his news. So, so you went to church? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> oh, I do, always do. I was expecting you to rule communities at that time. Well, that's that's what I always thought. But then um, uh, when you, you came to church for my wedding a couple of years ago, um, you, you didn't know what to do. Not when they, they started uh, this. The wine and wafer business. Communion. Yeah. No, the biscuit, the communion. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. That's when I was, I was stumped. Ah. It wasn't included in the original English churches, um, usually. But apparently it's come back into favour quite considerably over here. Say that again, Mike. That yeah, well, someone should have told us about that at your wedding. Well, that's it. You see, I did tell everybody. I made a point of telling people, but um, I, 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 I assumed that you'd been a church goer when you were a lass, which you were, and that you knew about it. But yeah, sorry about that, Mum. I let you down there. I did tell everybody else. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> didn't tell me. Well, I didn't see much point. No, I did. I, I, um, I said we're going to do this and you're welcome to join us if you like. You got quite huffy, so I said, look. <laughs> so where was Bet born? Horseheath. Horseheath. We haven't reached Horseheath yet. So uh, you moved from, from Northwood to... Um, no, I'm talking about Northwood. No, we, mo in yeah, we moved there. We moved from Northwood to... So it's Suffolk, isn't it? That's yeah. Haverhill was in Suffolk, didn't it? Yeah. Haverhill? All the towns she talked, the religious she talked about, they were around a place called Haverhill. Oh, right. Which is Suffolk. Yeah, well, well you go up a bit and then it's uh, Cambridgeshire because... Yeah, only a few yeah, miles, yeah. That's yeah. right, only a few miles. And the board well, has changed. Well, you should walk it, yeah. The board has changed actually since 74. Okay. Right, we talked about castle camps and... Um, Shooty camps. Shooty camps. I, I, I can't remember when we left Stake or Bumpstead, which, which one we, we moved into. Yeah. I think it was Castle Cairns. Yeah. Well, apparently you didn't stay very long in these places. No. You got any idea why that, why that might be? No. Well, you wouldn't, would you? Yeah. Whether it's work mm. or what I really don't know. Well, your dad just did sort of casual work on farms, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think we went to um, Castle Camps first. Then we went down to Shudi and then back up to Castle Camps Elizabeth Cottage. I think I've got that right, John. Castle Camps Elizabeth Cottage is a nice name. <laughs> I bet it costs a bomb now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they've got a fence all around it now, haven't they? Oh, I don't suppose you remember. And they've got water laid on because I had to look over and they've got a pipe going to the back of the house. Oh, of course they would. And so what did you same. do? What did you do for water? We used to go down to the well with a shell. Yoke. Yoke. Yeah. Yoke. Yeah. Your shoulders, yeah. 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 Oh, so. oh, how quite. How yeah, far was yeah. that? Just down through the village. You had to go through the village? Yeah. So a hundred yards or something? Oh no, I'm not further than that. About from here, wait a minute. Yeah, probably to the bus stop. Mm hmm, well, that's yes. To get out. It was on the village green. A couple of hundred yards, yeah. And the, the whole village used to come get the water there. Oh yeah. Uh, must have been a hive of gossip. Oh, no, get, get water just got your water and went home. Yeah, sure. Because really it was mostly mums and dads used to go and get it. Yeah. But uh, I got it quite a few times. Why, I don't know. And what age would you have been then? I was about... Um, about ten. 